What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a fraction equation that has two unknowns, all right? Generally, you need two equations when you have two variables that are unknown, but in this example, I'm gonna show you a little way to get around that, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do here is just multiply everything together here, okay? So we have x over four times eight over nine times two over y, and it, we're saying that that's equal to one third, right? So we're gonna multiply the whole left side together. So on top we have x times eight times two, which is equal to 16x, okay? And then that's over the bottom over here, four times nine is 36, uh, and times y is 36y, right? So 36y, and then we're saying that that's equal to one third. Okay, so now we have a proportion here, and in order to solve proportions, you can cross multiply. So cross multiplying literally just means cross multiplying like that. So the first cross we're gonna to multiply together is 16x times three, which is equal to 48x. And then we're gonna set that equal to our other cross over here, 36y times one, which is equal to just 36y. Okay, now as you can see, we have a relationship between x and y, right? 48x is equal to 36y. So the next thing we're gonna do here is uh, just reduce these coefficients because that way we can use some easier numbers to work with. So 48 and 36 both happen to be divisible by 12, right? So let's divide both of these by 12. So 48 divided by 12 is equal to four, and then we have our x right there, and that's equal to 36 divided by 12, which is equal to three, right, three y. Okay, so now our relationship is reduced. So we have four x is equal to three y. Now we just need to figure out what x and y are equal to to make this equation true or balanced. Okay, and one easy way we can do that is just take these numbers, so four and three, and plug them into the other variable. So we're gonna plug in a four for y right here, and then we're gonna plug in a three for the x right here, okay? So we're gonna kind of cross multiply kind of like in a different sense, because you'll see on this side, we're gonna have four times three, and then on this side, we're gonna have three times four, right? So then over here, four times three is equal to 12, and on this side, three times four is equal to 12, right? So then if we plug in a three for x and a four for y, that would give us a balanced equation. Okay, so then we're gonna say x is equal to three, and then we're gonna say on this side, y is equal to four. So let's plug those in and see if they work. So for x over here, we're gonna plug in, let's clear these up first. So again, for x, we're gonna plug in a three, and for y, we're plugging in a four, okay? So now let's multiply this out and see if it actually works. So on top, we have three times eight times two, which is equal to 48. And then on the bottom, we have four times nine times four, which is equal to 144, okay? Now, 48 divides evenly into 144, okay? So we can divide the top and the bottom by 48. So if we do that, on top, we would get one, and on the bottom, we would get three, okay? So then we get back to the answer that we were looking for, or that we were given, right? One third, okay? So that means the uh, two numbers that we got over here, so we got x is equal to three and y is equal to four, were correct. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.